Hey, um, I'm Julia, and this is my home, Clementine. I built her um, over a period of about 13 months. I built her with my own hands and a lot of help. My electric needs are, are really minimal, um, and I'm totally off-grid right now. I'm feeling pretty good to be just pretty independent. This is my great room. Um, slash dining room, um, slash library, and I love my ceiling. It's um, beetle kill pine, and built a little table here that can um, fold down for extra space. That's been really helpful. But I built in all my shelving and uh, storage underneath the stairs for clothing and closet space and pretty full kitchen. Um, this is the um, sort of Energy Star super low electric refrigerator. Propane uh, stove and oven. Well, I just figured out the pizza stone trick not too long ago to be able to kind of cook things a little more evenly. Let's see, my water heater is down here. Bathroom here, shower. It's a small but full shower. Um, got a composting toilet here, low maintenance, and it's just kind of second nature at this point. You know, I thought that living in this space was going to be a lot simpler than it is. Um, it actually takes quite a bit of effort to just do sort of the daily chores. Um, it's not as easy to let the dog out because dog comes in and automatically your living room floor is, you know, muddy if you don't pay attention. And I think it's teaching me a lot. You know, it's a good learning curve to figure out, you know, the level of what you need. And lately, it's, I just sort of want a homestead. You know, I've got a garden space um, down the hill that I've been able to sort of cultivate and grow some of my own food and, um, yeah, having friends over and sitting outside if it's nice and um, it just feels good to be so connected to the outdoors here. It's a lot more natural to just you know, have the door open pretty much all day if I'm here um, and it's so much easier in a space like this to just not be closed in somewhere, not be closed up in a room, um, but to actually, you know, be in and out and do things outdoors. I've always sort of <laughs> been driven crazy by the notion of a big house that has, you know, tons of square footage and tons of empty rooms and big closets that are never, never used or looked at. And there's a change in values, I think. There's a change in sort of my parents' generation's idea of, you know, owning something and having space and having real estate um, that doesn't really appeal as much to me and my generation, I think, as a whole. Um, because the world and the economy is just changing and you know I think people need that flexibility. We need to be able to own less and be less permanently tied down somewhere. This has been sort of a dream or like a like a life that I've imagined for myself for probably five or six years and yeah, I mean, the, the sense of accomplishment and empowerment and, and capability that comes with something like this is, is pretty significant and, you know, I'm, I'm proud of it. It's my home. <laughs>